Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. Well, here's something new that came down the line. Brought to you by Bonding in the Comics. Written by the great John F. Trent. DC Films, Ray Swap's Hawkman with casting of Aldous Hodge for Black Adam movie. Yeah, you guys heard it right. Yeah, they race swapped uh, Hawkman. I don't know how to feel about that right now. Just too much of that bullshit going on. DC Films race swapped Hawkman with the casting of actor Aldous Hodge in the upcoming Black Adam movie starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. what's up man. Hodge confirmed the casting on Instagram posting a photo of Hawkman soaring in the air he wrote on the post so the cat's out the bag the rock it's going to be an honor to join you Noah Cantonio and the Black Adam DC Universe family he added let's go and that was the picture he posted of Hawkman and uh, that was what he had to say on Instagram. Very interesting. I just casting was the first by the Hollywood Reporter's Boris Kit and Mia Jalupo. Hopefully I said it right. They wrote, Aldous Hodge, who starred in City on the Hill and appeared in this year's remake of The Invisible Man, has nabbed the high-flying role of Hawkman in Black Adam and is now in final negotiations to join New Line's action-adventure thriller featuring the DC Comics anti-hero starring Dwayne Johnson. Hawkman is one of DC's oldest characters, first appearing in Flash No. 1 back in January 1940, the character was created by writer Gardner Fox and artist Deneville. Man, it's crazy. Believe it or not, y'all, I was looking for a Gardner Fox autograph about two weeks ago. And the, the, the phone went from, I went from Gardner Fox to Megan Fox and then, um, Michelle Rodriguez, like like trying to find their autographs. Those three people came back to back to back. I dropped my phone and I and I caught it in midair. But when I caught it, I must have pressed the button and the fucking person of fucking Michelle Rodriguez from from fucking uh, Fast and the Furious purchased her autograph. Boy, I had to turn around and <laughs> I had to turn around and fucking uh, undo that shit real quick. So that was a that was very very interesting. Not only is he a tall blonde white man, but it's also revealed that he is the reincarnation of Prince Khufu, who was murdered by the evil Hatset. Along with the revelation that he is the reincarnation of Prince Khufu, he is also the Hawkman, or Peril of the Night whose extraordinary powers are derived from Carter's discovery of the secret of the ages, the ninth metal, which defies the pull of Earth's gravity. That's what's up. All right, while Hawkman has typically been depicted as Carter Hall, the reincarnation version of Prince Khufu, the character has also been depicted as the alien warrior from Thanagar, Carter Hall. Okay. I already knew this because I got the books, but... Carter Hall was first introduced in Brave and the Bold, number 34, by writer Gardner Fox and artist Joe Kubert in 1961. In his first appearance, he's a white man with dark black hair and his and Shiera's, Shiera Hawk's suits are actually Thanagarian 
police uniforms. All right. 1961, huh? So this is the Earth One Hawkman. The most recent version of Hawkman was introduced during the DC Rebirth line, where the character received his own series in 2018. And it's fucked up because they just canceled it. And actually, I actually signed up a petition to actually get it, um, to get it, uh, back, you know, to try to help bring it back. There's a petition rolling around, got a few thousand people that have, or that have signed it so far. So, hmm. Yeah, that's when they, uh, that's when they shut down, uh, uh they canceled a bunch of titles about, uh, about a month ago. Yeah, that's when, um. We find out that Hawkman's got canceled also. In that series, Hawkman is once again the alter ego of Carter Hall, an archaeologist, scholar, and preserver of history. And like the character's original incarnation, he's also Prince Khufu reincarnated. Yeah, Hawkman bad as hell, yeah. As you can see in the image above, he's also white. Yeah, it's going to confuse a lot of people when they like the character so much. They try to go buy the comic book and they're like, well, what the fuck's this? Or, like me, the people that buy the comic books are looking at this shit and they're like, what the fuck just happened? However, the book would reveal that Carter Hall is also the reincarnation of Carter Hall of Thanagar, as well as dozens of other Hawkmen of various races and ethnicities. Yeah, yeah. So basically, everybody that doesn't know is Carter Hall is the reincarnation of every different version of Hawkman that you see in this picture. So He's all these different Hawkmen at different times, um, in different places, in different eras, in um, in time, all rolled into one person. So that's basically what they're trying to explain to you. Nonetheless, Hawkman has traditionally been portrayed as a white man in the comics. In fact, the character was most recently portrayed in live action by German actor Falk Henschel. Hopefully I got that right. In the CW's Arrowverse, including episodes on The Flash, Arrow, and DC's Legend of Tomorrow. Wow, so this dude's been around on a bunch of different shit. All right. But then they got this movie. Well, okay, yeah. That's him. And then... What's so fucked up is they got this movie and it's gonna be something completely totally different. Man, let's see what let's let's see what it do, man. He also played Raymond in Die Hard with a Vengeance and MC Ren in Straight Outta Compton. Most recently, he played James Lanier in The Invisible Man and Jim Brown in One Night in Miami. He also played DeCourcy Ward in the TV series City on the Hill. Hmm, what do you make of DC Films' decision to cast Aldous Hodge as Hawkman? You know, honestly, I've never seen his body of work, so I can't see anything about that. But just the fact of him not being in the Carter Hall that we all know, it's going to be interesting how that plays out. So if that's, if that's going to happen like that, then you can just imagine what's going to happen with uh, with Hawk Girl whenever she decides to show up, which will probably be um, something Justice League related, unless they do something uh, solo Hawkman project where they bring her in. That's the only thing I can see. Not sure how I feel about it, but to be real with you, at this point. With all the garbage and all the bullshit we've been getting, all I want to do is I just want to see a badass Black Adam movie.
that's all I give a shit about. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed, please do. This is your boy, 24-7 with 24-7 Fusion Media, and I'm out. Peace.